Hello, how are you, Amanda? Saint artist. We're gonna do our eyeshadow. I'm gonna do, this is debatable, my kids. This is debatable. I'm gonna call this a one color eyeshadow. What you wanna tell me, I don't care. <laughs> it's okay. So here, look at that. That looks intimidating. I'm not using all these colors. I'm going to use one. I wanted to show similarities. So here's the deal. Let's let's prep the lid, okay? Use whatever eyeshadow primer you want. I use my brightening highlight. This is Palace, the new highlight color. I'm gonna go lash to brow. I'm essentially canceling out all of my discoloration, veins, color, and I'm making a blank canvas, all right? Okay, here's the deal. You have options, but I'm going to go matte. You can use cupcake, or if you have setting powder, use setting powder. You don't have to go buy cupcake, it is very pretty. And this is Sabrina. Sabrina, okay, you know I always go for drift. If you know, if you know, you know, I always use drift. Drift is a bit punchy. It's easily picked up, it's really beautifully formulated, and it is my favorite. It's not for everyone, especially if you're not liking a lot of shimmer, because it does go on, it can go on, it can get crazy. It's a low flex shimmer, but the formula is just different. Sabrina is a nice, bright, hard to put on. Not hard to put on, but it's harder to put on. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take my eyeshadow brush on the big fluffy end. I'm gonna go into Cupcake first. This I am going to do, and this is just going to set that cream, that primer that I put on, and this creates a blending surface. Powders blend better on powders. If you want a nice matte look, cupcake, or setting powder, whatever you want. Or you can set it with a shimmer. So again, I grabbed Sabrina. It's really nice and pretty. There's Rome, which has a more of a cool, deeper tone. And then of course there's Drift, which picks up very easily and it has a very soft formula. This is Sabrina, and it does have a bit of a shimmer to it. It is a low flex shimmer. Do you see how pretty that is and compare it? I like some shimmer and I'm gonna go again, lash to brow. And what I'm doing here is the same thing I did with cupcake or setting powder. Can I just put eyeshadow on my face? I might have. Anyways, I'm prepping my lid with just setting that cream with my shimmer. This is gonna create that blending surface with powder. It's just shimmery matte, okay? Now, everybody's been asking for a one color. If you're just getting into eyeshadows, this is a really great option, again, prep it and pick a color. I'm going to go with Sedona. This is a really pretty, I love this color for a one color shadow. Okay. But these are all very similar colors. So I just wanted to give you options because I like options. So I have Sedona here and then I have, you know, I wish I knew them all. I've got Sedona. I've got basic. I've got labyrinth. I've got bird. Bird has a bit of a green undertone to it. If you really like that, if you have green eyes, this would be a really good option. All right. And then I have butterscotch. I have Bubba. I've got chai. And then I have oak. I love oak because it's an eyebrow color. It's a beautiful eyebrow color. Trust is also a really pretty one. But for the sake of this, oak is very similar. These are all similar tones. Chai is much lighter. If you have very fair skin, this could be a great option for you. But these aren't super dark. They're a good medium brown, except for, of course, that one. But keep that in mind. So I'm going to go in with the fluffy end of my brush, and I'm going to go into Sedona. It, I've been really liking it lately. And I am going to go onto my lid on the upper part, leaving the lash line above light. But I'm going below the crease, and then I'm going to go into the crease, and then I'm going to go outside of that eye and I'm gonna blend it out. Now, I barely had to tap into that, but I have hooded eyes. So all this color I just put on, that's why I left that light cupcake or setting powder, that light cupcake color open above my lash line because I want my eyes to look bigger. My eyes are maturing, things are moving down and I like it to look more open. And so I keep that space above my lash line open. And then I go into that crease and I'm coming up onto that brow bone. I'm going to add a little bit more. And now I'm going to hit that brow bone after I move my hair, hit that brow bone, and then I'm going to bring it up. Okay, so we have it up and we have it out just like that. 
nice one cut. I would consider this a one color. You've got to prep your lids. So I'm going to consider this a one color look. I'm going to switch to the small end. I'm going to go into Sedona and I'm going to go right down here. Okay. Right down here. And then I pull up to meet where I pressed it up here and then up. So it's fluid. All right. Same thing. Go into that Sedona and I'm going up over leaving that part above the lash line open so i'm just below the crease i'm into the crease and i work up and out up and out not just up out sedona hitting that brow bone i always like to extend it up and out past that outer corner you see how my eye and my brush are not together it's outside and that gives me that cat eye look that gives me that lift it also helps to hide the hood and I just, I really like to more focus on my brow bone once I've blended up to that crease. I focus on the brow bone. Go into that small end and I'm going to go right down here. So easy. Now, if you want to level it up, you can wet this brush. Why don't we? Why don't we? I'm going to grab my setting spray. I'm going to spray the fluffy end. Not a lot. You don't want it wet. You just want it a little damp. I'm going to go into Sedona. You can see now it's wet and you can deepen that color. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Deepen it. And now that color, that one color, is just a little deeper and darker. You don't have to buy a whole bunch, but you can easily make any of these eyeshadows two or three colors. Really super simple. All right, I'm gonna grab my eyeliner. This is Maybelline Tattoo Studio. I waterline the outside of my waterline, tight lining about the outer quarter. Okay, outer quarter, I flick out a little bit on this corner. Not a lot, and then I'm gonna switch to a um, liquid pen. I like a liquid pen, especially for my inner eye right here. I don't have a lot of lashes, and so I extend the lashes by adding a line. The reason I like liquid is it doesn't transfer. A pencil on your waterline is gonna transfer. A pencil on that edge is gonna come down a little too far and it's gonna transfer. So I like using a liquid pen. Stila stay all day, it's got a small end and then there is a bigger end. I am just gonna do a small cat eye and then I'm gonna connect it. I do not bring my eyeliner all the way across. I keep it on that outer quarter because Again, I have maturing eyes and I don't want to close this area off. And so I create a little cat eye for some lift. I always draw the wing out and then I connect it to the lash line and then I fill it in. And that's it. And it just gives that little extra bump to your eye that lifts it. It's really pretty and you can go heavy, you can go petite, it's whatever. It's your face whatever you want and that's it you can put some I have faux lashes on I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on the lower lash line I like faux lashes because boy howdy they are gone I don't have a lot of lashes and yeah look at that that's nice that's nice okay one color I'm calling it one color if you don't think it is that's okay but I have a matte version with Cupcake, and then I have a shimmer version with Sabrina. You could also use Rome. You can also use Drift. It's whatever you want. It is whatever you want. And so I like Sabrina if you're not really into your shimmers being punchy like with Drift. Drift is so pretty. It also doubles as an illuminator. You can take any shimmer and pop it on your cheeks or wherever and illuminate. But that's all. That's all I got for you for eyeshadow. Look at this mop. Like legit. Put a stick in my head. I'm a mop. But... That's it. Have a great day.